Welcome to Mercy's Designs. My name is Mercy and I demonstrate stamping up products. Today I'm going to bring you this really cute card and this is with using the brand new Celebrate Sunflowers and I absolutely love this set and the dies. So here are some of the dies and then the remainder of the dies I have already run this through the big shot but I wanted to explain a few tips here. So here we have this, the big image of the die, um, of the sunflower, excuse me, and it can be hard to reline up. So one of the things I did, which I'll show you, is I put a little piece of white tape, this is from my label maker, a little scrap, right here on this particular piece. Now you could use, um, mark any spot, but that one was the most distinct to me. So then, when you have your stamparatus, which I have lined up, already um, a template in here, you can easily find it. So I have it marked right here. So I'll bring this back and I know that it was this lower one right here because um, I have it marked. So you just, just take it and put it in and I marked it here as well. So that will help um, create, you know, it'll just make it easier. Now this one's pretty obvious, obviously, so you don't need to do anything extra there. And then I have my leaf. So I will just pop these in and ink them up. Here we go. I will get my memento ink. And this is great for then using with the blends. Try to show this back out a little. I mounted more than I needed for this particular um, card, more of the stamps, but it will be useful for other cards. So sometimes I like to do that and have it all ready to go. Okay, and then press down. And then you have a nice crisp image. Sometimes you have to push it out, but here's the result. And when you have it lined up properly, when you, I just um, die cut, stamp on the scrap paper and then die cut it out. And then I have these holes ready to go when I use my Whisper White. So here are the pieces. And um, I am going to be coloring next. Now I will swap these out for ones that have dried more because I find that if you let it dry better, it works better. So I'm going to be using primarily Daffodil Delight, Calypso Coral, and the bronze, but you can sub out with the dark crumb cake for the center. So just a little tip there. And then I'm also going to be using Old Olive.
All right, so here is the finished result of my coloring. And I wanted to point out a couple things. Um, I used three different colors. Of course, you saw that starting with the dark Calypso Coral, and then I blended with the light and dark Daffodil Delight. So here, and then I wanted this center to look a little bit more orange than this one. So I added first a layer of the light Calypso Coral. So. I just want them a little different, but of course, very similar in many respects. All right, so we're going to be um, building our card. And this is a die cut from the Stitch Rectangle Shapes using the brand new Misty Moonlight paper. And I just thought it added a, like a really nice touch for it. So um, the stamp, the Hello stamp, I used from Forever Fern. And I just um, punched it out with this um, label, classic label punch, which I won't bother. I stamped with the Knight of Navy because I don't have Misty Moonlight ink yet. So that's how I did that. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and hear this large one. And I'm going to be careful to allow room to tuck under. So I'm just going to set this up here. I think this is just stunning. Really pretty. I like all the contrast I have here with the colors. If you want less contrast, then spend more time blending. With my first one, I did do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this one up, this little one. Just going to put a few dimensionals. And um, we will get this card in place very quickly. Okay, so here is the hello, and I'm going to go ahead and use a little snail. Now, I prefer liquid glue, generally speaking, but occasionally, if I'm not sure of the placement, I will use snail. Okay, so I want this to be tucked in, and I want this one to kind of overlap a little bit, so... I think that looks pretty good. Okay, and then I want this straight, obviously. All right, so the next thing is to put this in, and I want this coming down and touching a little bit. So it all the pieces tie together. It can sometimes be hard to pull off multiple focal images, but in this case, I think it works, and they're related images, they're, meaning they're both sunflowers. So there you have that part. Now I'm going to bring in a gray granite base. And um, I was debating about this and I decided to do a neutral. And most people are probably going to pair this with some more gold undertones. But I sometimes like doing something a little different. And a neutral goes pretty well with everything. I'm going to have this offset. And I'm going to once again bring in some of my metallic pearls. I love these pearls. I think they go with a lot. So I'm going to just pop one. This time I'll pop it down here. I think that looks cool. And then we're going to do a little bit of stamping inside. So here is my, um, my Whisper White card base or layer and I am just searching for my stamps okay oh yeah here we go we have this let's celebrate you and another one would be a fabulous one would be um, the thanks a bunch which I probably will use with uh, one of them that I make because I need to make a thank you note for my son's teacher so this one though would be a great for a birthday, obviously. All right, so I'm gonna just try to make this as straight as I can. Let's celebrate you. And I have a little scrap here, and this is from the new um, DSP, and my mind is drawing a blank on the name, but I think, oh, in good taste. There, it came back. <laughs> It's absolutely beautiful and they have different wood patterns and then this gray. And I kind of like this gray because it ties in our front. Okay, so this is a little too big obviously, but 
I can just trim it off. And there we have it all straight. Okay, so I'm gonna bring back in my card and we're just gonna add this. I hope you enjoyed this video and this is a little bit of a sneak peek since this will go live June 3rd. If you found this helpful and got a good idea, please consider subscribing. I try to upload videos weekly or bi-weekly, depending on my schedule. Right lately, it's been a little hectic with school ending and all. Anyhow, um, but I would really appreciate if you consider subscribing. If you have any stamping needs, please email me at mewants3 at gmail.com, and I'd be happy to help you place an order with the host code. Thanks for watching, and happy stamping.